And both of these videos I titled is How I Killed a Queen of Thailand. Uh, how I Killed a Queen of Thailand, I was taught by the Thai people. You killed our queen. You killed our queen. You are the one who will kill her. You killed our queen. That's what Prince, now King Charles from London. Gotha Coburg. Windsor, Battenberger, Mount Button wrote this modern Don Quixote, this man intellectual with his brother, a little bit less intellectual but more into the physical. They used to call him physical because he was more into a physical torture. He was, he really, really, Prince Andrew was really into physical torture. He enjoyed participating excessive amount of killing rapid killing basically human being that still would last for some time before he would finally collapse talking about afghanistan here talking about the people they brought to britain you think they didn't murder people in britain you think they don't torture people in britain they do they do they did they did they did they do and they did. I was told by various politicians, and hopefully that's going to give you a ground to the United Nations, you're going to have something to communicate about. Uh, it should definitely contribute to Prince King Charles. The British state, prestigious state, which gets it done no matter what, get the job done. In eyes of other nations and politicians around the world, the incredible strength, the incredible might, you know, a megalomaniac. Megalomania, the strength, the power, what the fuck I can do to you. Ah! I hope it will definitely contribute. Look, it's five o'clock and I've been up cursing my life all fucking night long. Princess Bayrakidia, but it finally, you can say, very well, really, really well. And uh, she definitely should get her part, you know, from her daddy. And her daddy should get his part from Berlin and from London. So he earned that. He earned the hard way he did, you know, as I was told. Nobody will ever save you, you know. Nobody will ever save you then, you know, when she's dead, when she's gone. These people are saving me, all right, for 30 years. Interesting. People who have bitten in crime, whether it was race Biden or it was some other issue, whatever issue, or maybe they wanted to taste the blood of Christ. That's how they also presented me as. Some of those on their task to save me. You know, it's about it was all about saving me. They also killed people. It was also people that were killed by Illuminati on their road to save me. You know, I hope you understand that there was no such thing as saving me. I hope you understand that I was used as a tool of imperialism, neo-Nazis and coming imperialism, that I was used in the hands of brutes to murder, to hunt.
there is few if any innocent people but humanity definitely The more they were trying to save me, you see, the bigger the curse, the more people I was blamed to have destroyed. Blamed for a lot of people. I had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with. But their careers, their jobs, their families, their real estate, they need it. And so they gave a royal reference so that crime could get bigger. And so with Bayrakiti Abba, princess is cursed. With her obituary, my chances of survival should definitely then be reduced to even more the cost, especially because the Asian would never nobody will save you. So that's all I wanted to do. Very good part number two. something little for me to contribute because it's 10 minutes after 5 in the morning this should definitely make me look portrayed more like insane like a raven lunatic you know, talking to himself at night <clears throat> that's me not you that's just me and then hopefully maybe psychiatrists are gonna come a police maybe or something like this The thing is, they will not. But I do have to pay my respect to a princess, Baira Kitty Abba, her father and her grandfather. That's why this video. So that tomorrow you have something to talk about at the United Nations. You're very, very productive people there. Very hard to put, like George Bush said, food in your family. One day the world will figure out why this world is so evil. It's going to come to one. Hopefully not too late. One day the world is going to figure out what makes this world so evil. There is people that take strength, that pride themselves on doing stuff like this to people. British destroyed me for no less than 30 years of my life on behalf of Germany. There's no difference, it's the same shit. Imperialism, colonialism, Nazism, fascism, you know, the hatred stuff. You, know. you can tell I was in the United States of America, can't you? country founded on a slavery that traced me all the way back inside here in Slovenia where I came from to the United States of America to get that slavery certificate to be awarded American slavery citizenship certificate in 2000. You can tell that. Yeah, from what we see basically now even through Thailand, Asia, something for you 
to have to talk about tomorrow in Thailand also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the United Nations. They loved me so much. I definitely don't feel like Charles Manson, but I think I did some in this video. Loved me so much.